Why am I just hearing about Carla now? And dinner? I must have slept in all day. I slept like all night and all day. Jesus Christ. Um, I look at Carla. Who are you? I ask. Turned her eyes and noticed a change in them. They begin to shimmer. Oh, Jesus. That does not answer my question. Who's Carla? I continue to look at Carla, wondering who the hell she is and why is she in my house? Let's see what this thing does now. Carla continues to change ongoing. Her clothing becomes less and her body becomes more juvenile in appearance. You notice something else though. Her the eyes. What am I what? What? I, I'm so confused. What are you doing to me game? Look deep into Carla's eyes. A faint green outline contains your vision. The outline begins to move as if an eye is looking at you. You step back in shock. I, I'm the maid. What? Is that her? She's my maid? Oh, so... I look confused. When did I get a maid? I thought I was a poor peasant. Changing the fucking rules on me. You're staring confused at Carla. Get Carla's laughing face. She begins to calm down. I'm your. Just gonna see where this goes. You're my what? Ghost? You finish? Ha! I was gonna say spirit, but it's only a but it's a bit of both, really. You see, unlike the living, I have a deal ability to see the dead. Hmm. Okay, uh, this is strangely familiar. I am confused. So you're a dead maid? How did you end up in my house? How do I know your name? What the hell is going on here? Carl looks at you with pity. I died protecting you. Wait, what? How did you die? Carla begins to get emotional. Let's see what she says. I was stabbed protecting you. When the skeleton attacked, I've been with you since then. That's impossible, is it? Think again, she says with a small laugh. <laughs> Why am I just seeing you now? Also, why don't I remember this attack? She looks at me with pity some more. You had amnesia due to your injuries. What? Of course I did. Of course I did. Plot. Plot device right there. She says as if it is a crime. Oh. Okay. I thought I was a mere peasant. When did I get a maid? Carl looks at you with disgust. You are a lord and a damn fool to boot. You never should have left the castle. I warned you not to follow that that being. Uh so I was a lord that is now a peasant that got spoken to by a demon said I'm going to go on an adventure and that's my dream to begin with and now I have a ghost maid. Yeah. Hmm. This has to be an AI because you can't make this shit up. Okay. What being? I'm learning about my backstory. Oh, that would be me. You nearly spit out your drink. You're the monster that attacked me? What? Ooh, ooh, ah! Ah! 
<laughs> My head's exploding. But you were protecting me. You, you didn't trust me. Carlos says in disbelief. No, I trust it. I mean, um, what? Never mind. Carla. You were attacking me and defending me at the same time? This makes no sense. Tell me the truth. time with a more serious look. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't lie to me, bitch. You better be sorry. Oh, fucking Carla. For what? For failing to protect you. It's not your fault. You bitch. You were... Oh, oh. Calm down, Wild. It's okay. You were the one after me to begin with. According to your story, you protected me from yourself? Carla nods her head. And I, I would have killed you if that thing hadn't showed up. What thing? What? What thing? What is going on here? I said enough, she yells. No, no, bitch! You didn't! You need to tell me the whole goddamn story right now, or I will find an exorcist to take care of your ass because fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're. St you say that a lot. I'm sorry is a. It's just that you seem very confused and it annoys me when I'm annoyed with someone I care about. Uh, so you're annoyed that you're annoyed... I don't get it. Okay. Who says you've got to like... Who says you got to like someone you care about? Well, that makes kind of sense. Um, what does that have to do with you dying? Uh, attempting to protect me from yourself. Like I don't care, you're dead. You don't you, you don't need to care about me. Just fucking explain your situation. What I got I got weak in the knees. I don't want to lose you. You won't. Just tell me what's going on. There we go. Let's Yeah. Do I sound like I'm weak in the knees, bitch? I'm afraid that if you know the truth, you would have nothing to do with me and vice versa. Wait. Bullshit. What do you think? I just had my mind wiped and I have no idea what's going on half the damn time. You think if I knew the real truth about you, I wouldn't want to be with you? Wait, this is becoming a romance story with a ghost. Great. Fuck that. Carlos smells. You would still be you. So, I'm a good person? So, I'm a good person. But you might not make the right choices based on the truth. Just fucking tell me. Stop beating around the bush. I'm tired of this. Beating around the bush, Carla. Carla says. So? If I make the right choices, then the right thing to do is to make me no matter what, Carla. I'm, I'm having difficult follow difficulty following your train of thought. Well, I've been having difficulty following this conversation. <sighs> I'm getting a headache from all this, all the bullshit. What is for dinner since you're making dinner because you're a ghost? Carlos smiles and takes my hand. I made chicken curry. Ooh, yes, yum indeed. I figured you would. I'm glad you're feeling better. And you're still dead. So, what came and killed you? I'll tell you another time. You still need your rest. Bitch, I just slept a whole day. You yawn, maybe. Sleeping beauty is sleeping tight. What? No, 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 no.
We're going story. We're we're taking control. We're taking control of this bitch. I suddenly realize I have a whole day's worth of sleep with energy. It's time to go out and go to work. Jesus Christ. This game. I'll be back tonight, Carla. I promise. I'll be here. It'll just be the two of us. You'll leave your home and walk to work per usual. See what this game takes me.